taksi gak gian dia ringkat ya. Stunning, eh? Stunning, absolutely. You try and go around the other side as well. Just gonna wait for it to 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 walk up the dam wall. So she might lie down the dam wall and start eating the uh, the plover. There we go, she's sitting up now. She's still concerned about the, the lions on the other side of the dam. Another day in the paradise. Still staring at the lines, sleeping on the other side of the dam. Yeah. At the same time, she's thinking what she's going to have for dinner tonight. Hi, good afternoon to you, Marie, and welcome on board is off on the Ganda. And she wants to know how long can the leopard go without water. They can go for, for a number of days without water because they, they get lots of blood fluid from the, um, from the kills. So they are not very dependent on to the water, the uh, the cats species. So the the cats are not like like antlers that will have to drink the water at least twice a day. The water obviously aid of the digestive system on uh, on most of the of the animals, but with cats it's it is different. As I said, but they they get lots of bad food from the from the fresh kills. But uh, generally speaking, when When leopard hasn't killed and and and, uh, and drank um, the broad fruit from the uh, from the kill, and they will then drink water at least um, once every every day or once every two days or so. So it just depends on the situation.
constantly yawning, then it's, it's, it's about time to, to get up and start hunting. Starting to lick yourself now. So look at that. The uh, the bed is the bed is, has has got up on, on the demo. Wow. The, the blacksmith plover that gorilla had in the mouth and then, and drop it on the demo is is up now. Sam is Sam is zooming into it. So she didn't kill the bird. So she obviously picked up gently and then dropped it over there. So she's obviously not interested in the bird. I thought that she called the bird and just dropped it on the M1 and and came down to drink water and then just relax for a bit and then go back and eat it again. So I don't think she, she's interested on it. It's amazing. Wow. Hi Rita, good afternoon to you and welcome on board. And Rita is asking if uh, if Gorilla and the lions um, come into con confrontations, uh, will we intervene as it will be two against one? Um, definitely no. Um, we wouldn't intervene in, in any um, circumstances like that. <clears throat> um, so we will obviously leave the nature to take its own course. So it would be very unfortunate for for the uh, for the for the two against one. Um, so she, she will have to uh, plan for herself just to um, to get out of the lines where as as, uh, as quickly as she can. And obviously, Gorilla wouldn't stand her ground um, against lions, even if it's one on one. There is no way that the, that, can, that the leopard can win um, the battle. If the leopard, if the leopard does encounter a uh, lion and or a part of lions and she, she, and the leopard will immediately um, seek for protection or just climb in the tree as soon as uh, the leopard can. Because lions will sometimes venture climbing trees, but not a very very good climbers to lions. 
But uh, I've never seen the, the lions going for a leopard up in a tree, unless if, if the leopard has got a curl in the, air, air, um, in the tree, and then it, it might venture climbing the tree just to try and get to the curl. Okay, I should set my thing the dead tree again. So she's going back to, to the flower again. The flower looks like it's recovering a bit. So it's up on its feet and then it's just it's walking down below the dam wall now, but I can still see it. It's just the back sticking up on the dam wall there. Just watch what, what she's going to do there. Hey guys, it's, it's 6 o'clock now. Um, I'm just going to say a quick goodbye to you and, uh, and uh, Craig will cross back to us again. So we're going gonna to try and stay with, with Gorilla and, and see um, what she's going to do um, from here and possibly go back to um, and take a look at the lines as well just before dark. Okay, welcome back on the Ganda. Um, just going around the other side of the dam wall again. The bed is standing on the dam wall. Looks like she's going to be uh, heading west in the general direction of quarantine. Stand by here, and she's walking straight towards us. Now she's going the other way. <laughs> 